Hi guys, your girl on your TV. You're welcome to this week's episode of Five Things About Everything brought to you by Gist on Gist. So everyone is in a form of relationship or the other. You know, nowadays relationships and love is like the key of the day. Everyone wants to get married, wants to have a happy home, wants to feel in love and be in love. But well, there are still so many things that kill modern relationships. So I'm talking about five things that kill modern relationships. So sit back and enjoy. You're welcome back. Remember to like and subscribe on this channel at Gist on Gist NG on Instagram and Twitter, Gist on Gist Media on Facebook. So talking about five things that kill modern relationships very quickly. Number one, they start for the very wrong reasons. They start for the wrong reasons. Like when you want to go into a relationship, check out the reason why you want to be in a relationship in the first place. If the reason doesn't have substance and it's for flimsy reason like you probably you want to make an ex angry or you just want to flaunt somebody that is looking fine you know or show the world that you know you're in a relationship of some sort probably for the gram or for something well that is not a good reason and the earlier you stop that well the better for you because that is one thing that kills modern relationship it does not have substance there's no major reason why you want to be with the person you don't understand the personality of the person but you just want to show off that you are in a relationship or you're seemingly in love or you probably just want to annoy someone out there so probably a lot of relationships start for the wrong reason and that's number one reason why modern relationships probably have hiccups Number two, we prioritize the wrong things. You don't have the right priorities in your life. First of all, you should be your number one priority. Your ambition, your goals, your future, the things you actually want to achieve should be the number one goal on your mind. The person should not be like the, your entire being. You're prioritizing the person before yourself. You should actually prioritize yourself, what you want to achieve, the place you want to go to, and then the person can impute into that. But if the person is the main reason why you're doing a lot of things, you're trying to impress the person, and the person's opinion is what overshadows you, well, it would have a kind of hiccup or a havoc along the way. So you have to make sure you know what, priori what your priority is. You have to make sure you know what your priority is. You have to prioritize your life, your future. And then if you can't find security in yourself, you probably can't find it in other people. So you have to make yourself strong, balanced, you know, have a sound understanding of you as number one priority. And then you push out this love you have for yourself to other people. Yeah, that is number two. So number three, a lot of people are very superficial. You're looking at the big waist, fine face, and this, okay, people are looking at does she have this, this kind of body figure, does he have a macho body, does he, is, this thing is big, is this happening, you know, a lot of people look at the superficial, that's the physical, they just want to know if the person is attractive enough, if the person has this kind of shape or this or that, well, that is not a criteria to actually be in a relationship in the first place, because something might actually happen. The big boobs might not be big anymore, and the macho body might not be like that forever because of one thing or the other, and then, well, if that is the thing that attracted you to the person in the first place, well, that can actually be the reason why it goes bad again. So you have to look beyond that. They have to be soft and way beyond the physical, you know. And a lot of times they say, if you don't have money, hide your face. He's like, money. Well, money also is, should not be is a superficial thing and should not be the entire criteria why you're being with someone. There should be deeper meanings, deeper emotions, deeper understanding of each other for you to be in a sound relationship. So look away from the superficial and focus on things that are really matter like the inner thoughts of the person so i'll go on a quick break and when i come back i'll tell you the other things that kill modern relationships so sit back and enjoy do you buy or sell goods abroad? Do you want to shop in the UK, US, Canada and more? Do you want to avoid expensive traveling costs and other expenses over logistics that reduce profitability? Do you want to avoid the COVID-19 lockdown, quarantine or restriction rules? If you like shopping abroad with ease, then this is good news for you. Freaky.com has come to take the stress and trouble off you. You can shop for anything, whether it is available online or not. On Freaky.com order assist, all you are required to do is copy the products online or web link and paste it on freaky.com order assist and you will receive it in the comfort of your home. You also get a vast relief reduction of 20% of the price while the products are delivered through freaky.com delivery network across Nigeria. Contact freaky.com on 0809-569-8395. Freaky.com, bridging the gap by connecting Africa to the global markets. You 
and welcome back. So we're talking about five things that kill modern relationships. So I've mentioned a couple of things and then I'm in number four. So the number four thing that kills modern relationship is we ignore red flags. Do not ignore red flags really. Don't do that. You have to address things that you are uncomfortable with and then you understand yourself in case you can cope with that or you can't. Well, people don't just wake up and then just change. Things don't happen like that anymore. And for a full-grown human being that is probably 27 or 30 or 35 and you're expecting the person to change, well, that is not going to happen. It probably will get worse. In case the person likes too much football and you hate football, you have to talk about it to know if there's a way you can strike a balance because till next 10 years, he will still watch football. Don't think, you know, one day he'll wake up and something will just magically happen. If the person has anger issues and you know you too, you have anger issues, you have to sort it out at that point in time. Don't ignore any red flag. Even though it's coming from you, the, you yourself, if it's a red flag for you or from the person's family or from the person's relative or something the person does, don't use love to overshadow it and think, you know, yeah, I love the person and that's all that counts. Well, at some point, the love will clear from your eyes and then you see these things and then you feel very irritated. So address red flags as much as you can so that you treat things easily and well, move forward in case you have to very early. So number five, there are false Instagram expectations. Well, I use Instagram expectation because a lot of times we have high expectations from what we see on social media. A lot of times when we see couples on social media, we're seeing perfect couples, people that look right, everything is smooth, things are not, you know, forgetting that they, are, they have back doors, they actually things that happen behind the scenes before they actually come and smile and snap those perfect pictures. And then you're expecting your relationship to be like that. You're expecting too much, you know, to be in the kind of setting, to be in the kind of life. You know, you're trying to imitate someone's out there's relationship that you don't even know what is really happening. So don't expect too much from someone, especially when you're looking at other people's social media life, because those comparisons can kill modern relationship. They can actually kill your relationship because you're expecting to see things that are not real. Those are the pictures they are portraying to you to show you that oh their life is perfect but well it is not they have their garbage so deal with yours amicably find happiness choose happiness choose substance and then live with it so this is five things about everything brought to you by gist on gist i mean your girl on cheesy and i just spoke about five things that kill modern relationships remember to like and subscribe at gist on gist ng on instagram and twitter and gist on gist media on facebook love you bye bye uh, what's the boss? It's your boy Osh Bobo. My name is Kenny Black. They call me VJ. I don't know. of you, they call me Lolo. Wa Bro, you're watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Gist on Gist. Gist on Gist. I've been with Gist on Gist. Gist on Gist.